It's umsum time. Ah, umsum, umsum. How can parrots talk like humans? Oh. Cause the one and only umsum trained them. Ah, uh, <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Birds like songbirds, hummingbirds, and parrots are vocal learners. They have defined centers called cores in their brain which control their vocal learning. However, only parrots can talk like humans. Why so? According to a research, this is because their brain is designed oh. quite differently than songbirds and hummingbirds. In their brains, Parrots have an additional structure, what scientists call shells or outer rings surrounding the cores. These shells are believed to help parrots to be really good at copying sounds, thus giving them the ability to talk like humans. Hello. In addition to this, parrots are highly sociable animals. As they crave interaction as well as attention, they start Ew. mimicking us to become a part Ew. of our flock. Oh. Why do heavier objects fall faster? Whether an object is heavy or light, all objects accelerate at the same rate towards the Earth. That is, at 9.8 meters per second squared. This means all objects should fall at the same speed, right? Absolutely. However, this happens only when there is vacuum. A scientist named Robert Boyle placed a coin and a feather in a big glass jar and removed all the air from it thus creating a vacuum. He then inverted the jar and observed that both the objects fell to the bottom at the same time. But this doesn't happen on Earth because here the speed of falling objects depends upon their surface area and air resistance. The feather has more surface area as compared to the coin. Hence, more air pushes against the feather due to which it experiences greater air resistance and thus the feather falls slower as compared to the coin. Mm. Why do strawberries have seeds on the outside? Cause seeds feel hot inside. No. First of all, a fruit is formed from a flower. A flower consists of ovary, ovule, petals, sepals, stamens, etc. Most of these parts are attached to receptacle. Now, usually after fertilization, the ovule forms a seed and the ovary swells to form a fruit whereas the remaining parts of the flower fall off. Now, a strawberry flower has multiple ovaries. When fertilization occurs, all the ovaries form fruits, but they don't swell. Instead, the receptacle of the strawberry flower swells to form the red edible part of the strawberry and the tiny fruits get embedded on the surface of the enlarged receptacle, while the remaining parts fall off. Thus, the seeds on the outside of the strawberry are actually tiny fruits, each of which contains a seed. <laughs> How to not cry while cutting onions? Watch a comedy movie! Nah. When we cut onions, chemicals like sulfoxides and enzymes are released which react to eventually form a gas. This gas reacts with the lubricating liquid in our eyes and produces sulfuric acid, which makes us cry. <laughs> However, if we freeze onions before cutting, then the temperature of onions drops. Due to this, the sulfoxides and enzymes react slowly, producing less gas and thus reducing the amount of crying. We can even wear tight goggles so that the gas doesn't reach our eyes. It is also said that below the onion roots, there's a bulb where the concentration of chemicals oh. is more. Hence, to avoid crying, we should first cut and throw that part. Also, cutting an onion under running water washes away the chemicals. Hence, we can also use this method to reduce crying while cutting onions. Mm.